bed. In bed. Team awesome. <laughs> the Trojans. Okay, well the competition is designed for school kids to have a say in the new um, city rebuild. And the idea is each team chooses an anchor project, like the stadium or the bus interchange, and they each create a proposal about it, like including design, funding, community benefits, etc. And then present it to the judges for judging. Uh, it's a model. Yeah, it, yep. it went pretty well. We might have spent a lot of time on it, but the end result looks pretty good. I think the competition is about really including young people and really getting their opinions um, so that we can actually try and figure out what can make a city great for everyone. So it's, it's looking at the earthquake and the rebuild of Christchurch through a child's eye, which is actually quite a unique way of looking at it. It's a really cool idea to let like us have our say on what Christchurch should be like and yeah. For them, feeling like they were a part of the rebuild was really important, that they had a say or that they could, could try to have a say was really important for them. What's amazing about this for them is that somebody is prepared to take their ideas seriously. That's actually the amazing part to these guys. If you want a good team helping to build the future of Christchurch, you could take away a group of these children and you'd be all right. It's really important to push the kids outside uh, siloed learning, and, and schools have a lot of siloed learning. It's just something you don't normally do in a school. Normally in school you just teach what's in the curriculum, everything's basically the same, you go on your nice field trips and everything else, but this was more real. It feels like you actually have some power over what's going to happen in the city. I think that there should be more things like this, especially with the future and the design of Christchurch, to have the young people involved, having a say, and their voice get, getting out there in this way I think is really important, so yeah, more of it. Kind of appealing now to stay in the city, like when we're older we and bring up families in the city because we've been part of the de development of the city, so. Makes it more exciting. Yeah. I, I think at best all of these proposals gave us something new rather than something that we were already familiar with. So a very sustainable building made in an innovative way with an innovative construction technique with photovoltaics, with a, a dome that allowed you to climb up this koru, um, another playground. Um, this was really imaginative, wasn't it? Very detailed, a very difficult thing to take on a big bit of open space in the city, particularly when you're so young. Isn't it good when you're at the age where you say, wouldn't it be neat to do that? Yeah, absolutely. And somebody says, me nays, and off you go, you know? Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> and we lose that in society. So the process tonight with the year 12 and 13s was the exciting slash complicated element, where four of them at year 12 and 13 level had to live pitch their idea or their project to the judges. The new Christchurch City Central Library. We have sought to provide a wide range of rich and rewarding experiences in the retail precinct. Growing organically, the space works alongside the emergent culture on its way up in Christchurch, consisting of three phases. Our development of the Avon River will increase interaction and give the city a vibrant, modern feel in areas which have not been focused on in the past. So I will ask the judges now to convene and to make their final decisions. We can't fit on a duck. A goose? <laughs> a goose is a good one. That's big enough. I think it's just brilliant uh, to give children of Christchurch a voice, actually. I just think they've gone through so many upheavals over the last couple of years. And so for the initiative of them to be able to have just dream big um, in such a big piece of property, it's an amazing opportunity for them to create their future here as well. To be able to broaden them past what they know has been a big challenge so that they're thinking about what might be possible rather than just what has already been. They Google Earthed the actual plot of land and we put it up on the interactive whiteboard and they started drawing things onto the air so, and then the creating and the planning. They've been writing letters to John Key. Um, so there's just a wealth of amazing learning experiences that they've been involved in. 
The children have loved it from day one. They've loved having a project, going home, talking to their parents about it, finding what they could add, bringing resources into the centre to glue on it. They've loved it. Everybody wants to win, but... Yeah, we're definitely going to win. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we're so going to win. <laughs> Those children who were involved in the very beginning, if they can participate to the end and can see which of their ideas survive and which not and why, then they will make this place their place and they will care for it and, and play there and they will tell everybody, look, I was involved here. I haven't come across a briefing that was so well prepared so far in my uh, professional career, I must say. And our team here are five professionals coming from uh, four different companies, all bringing their background. So this is a, a superb combination, really.